Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow region. Yes, I'm actually in my own shopping center where I live today. We're about 40 kilometers from the center of Moscow out in Moscow region and we're going to go to this store right behind me called El Dorado. Now this is the equivalent of Best Buy in the USA or JB Hi-Fi in Australia, Curry's in England. So we're going to go in and have a look around, check out some of the prices and just see how it is. So let's go. OK, everybody. So I'm actually here with my friend Atom. Yeah, that's me. Uh, Atom actually lives in the same town as I do. And if you watch the live stream in Red Square, you probably recognize him. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm very familiar from him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, very famous, very famous. So yeah, we're going to go for a walk around together. We're going to have a look at some of the goods inside. Uh, we literally live 10 minutes apart from each other, so it was kind of nice to come and meet up at the same shopping center. Uh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go, shall we? Yeah, let's go. So just in case you're kind of curious about the shopping center where we are here, this is actually relatively new. I think in the last couple of years they built... Well, this part wasn't built, but uh, other parts were built. Yeah, so, so, but this new part years. opened, I think, only last year or only so. Only last year or something, yeah. Yeah, so we have like a dollar store here, or equivalent to a dollar store, which has got all the low price items. Would you like a tour of the dollar store? Let me know in the comments. And then we've got a very big uh, Familia, which is basically like a Ross or Marshalls in America where it's got all of the brands of everything set out. It's actually a huge store inside. Uh, yeah, and it's because it's still relatively new. Not all the shops have actually fully opened, but I just thought it'd be interesting just to give you an idea of this shopping center. It's actually three level shopping center. And it's not nearly the size of the ones in Europe, uh, in Europe, in, in Moscow. Moscow. <laughs> yeah. But for a regional shopping center, we've got everything we need. Okay, Artem, so before we uh, slowly start to head on inside, uh, we were kind of looking up how many Eldorados there are in uh, Russia. I believe it's like 500 or something right now, but uh, this store, particular one, this was the second type of uh, the second popular store in like Russia, and now it was bought by the company who owns the first popular store, so... So yeah, the most they, popular... They, they kind of merged together. Mm -hmm. So the most popular one that, uh, in Russia is called NVIDIA. NVIDIA die. And yeah, I believe it's now it's like almost a monopolizer on this type of <laughs> goods, so... Monopolizer, yeah, monopoly, which is basically... Well, there is a few other chain stores, but not really this many uh, yeah, locations. Yeah, like DNS and stuff, but it's pretty local and not Now what we'll do, we'll just so have popular. a walk through kind of the middle of the store. Now, again, this is in a very regional shopping center, so it's not really expected to be particularly busy uh, walking around, right? I mean, we know where we live here is uh, not a, it's, a it's, large it's, population. It's, it's suburbs, so essentially. It's not Moscow, it's suburbs of Moscow. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still Moscow, kind of, so the prices are pretty moscow -it. Now, do you uh, often... Now, in Russia, most people are doing online shopping, probably uh, more than going yeah, into... Yeah, basically, basically these stores exist just like a show-off of what they have, and it's walking and standing, and <laughs> <laughs> you will not be... Now, on my previous live streams, there's a bit of a thing. We don't have a microwave in our kitchen at home. Yeah. I think we're the only people in Russia that don't own a microwave. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I'm even comfortable standing near you after that. <laughs> and uh, the plan is to buy a microwave. <laughs> but my wife's kind of mad about it because she, uh, I was kind of saying, oh, we can buy one for Christmas, one for your birthday. And she doesn't think that it counts that I should uh, buy her a microwave for a present. <laughs> So, what do you think? <laughs> um, no, every, everything counts as a present. So like. <laughs> a lot of dish, uh, washing machines. See, really a lot of washing machines. Yeah, they'll have to be clean here, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, there's a lot of things. What we're going to do in a second, we're going to look at a few individual items so we can get an idea of uh, some prices. Vacuum cleaners. What's the Russian word for vacuum cleaner? Willisos. Willy sauce. Willy. Willy sauce. It's actually, it's actually um, 
it's uh, if literally translated, it's uh, dust sucker. So, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. Now this store actually has electronics and white goods. So I was telling Artem before that uh, all of the kind of homewares items are called white goods, and he hadn't heard that name before. Here's some TVs. I guess maybe computer monitors almost. That's TVs. TVs. That's TVs. Um, and there's some laptop computers. So yeah, we'll just kind of lap around a little bit here. And we'll have a look at some individual items and see what kind of prices they have. All right, so we've kind of come to a bit of a decision that we're going to find about five different items. And we're going to kind of do some uh, rough conversion of the prices. And I'm going to put them on the screen in front of you. So first one I'm going to show here is a Samsung fridge. Now, of course, there's a lot of choices of fridges here. There's actually probably 20 or more different fridges, but 64,499 rubles. This is a fairly classic uh, fridge freezer. I think this would be anywhere in the world for sale. It's about $1,000 for... Yeah, so 64. And also, I must like uh, <clears throat> say that uh, it says you can buy it in parts, so you can uh, 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 have a cre have like a not credit or something like this. But uh, you can buy just spend parts of this money for two years, and you will get it. Ah, anyway. uh, right. So you can take it now and pay it in two years. Ah, uh, okay. So that's, that's the yeah. Is that that's the, month? the monthly. Yeah. So two thousand six hundred ninety nine per month. Yeah. That's interesting. That's pretty. There's a few that's pretty common here. Brands here higher. Fifty one thousand rubles. And then there's Atlant for 39,000 rubles. Unfortunately, we don't know where these are produced, so... Yeah, we were looking at a lot of the signage. And we didn't find it, unfortunately, <laughs> but... Yeah, we're kind of curious as to the manufacturing. We believe that most of these are made in Russia, but yeah, there has to be because... maybe a few imported ones. Uh, well, factories, I believe factories still exist in Russia, but may, or may, some parts may be not accessible, but still accessible to some ways, so... Now, between Artem and I, we're kind of arguing which f items we should really focus to show you some prices on, but here are some kettles of all things. Now, again, there's a pretty wide spread of prices, but this higher one right here, 5,800 rubles. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a big fluctuation in prices. Mulinek, 3,499 on special. So, yeah, plenty of kettles to choose from. Oh yeah, best price. There's like best price for a thousand rubles. Yeah, so you can get the entry level one there. So a lot of people who are subscribers to the channel and watch my live streams, again, we do talk about microwaves a lot. So we found here one of these Gorenji models here, which is quite nice, 6,799. And then they kind of do fluctuate a little bit, but you kind of, uh, there's media, or my dear. My Eight, dear, I believe. 8,499. And then a Pioneer here. Now I thought Pioneer made car stereos. 9,399. Okay, so we've come over to the flat screen TVs or plasma TVs. I don't know what we're calling them nowadays, but. We call it TVs. TVs, there's an LG one here. This is 55 inch. 51,999. Now in Australia, I actually had a Sony one. So I really kind of went in the store. I knew what size I needed. Uh, Telefunken. Here there's one uh, also 55 inch. 41,999. So yeah, again, we'll put the prices up on the screen so you can get an idea of the uh, exchange rate to dollars. Here is uh, Hisense, also 55 inch. That seems to be the popular size. Yes. Uh, 69,000 rubles. It also says like in here that you got a cashback for 20%. So, so yeah, if you're a, a loyalty card holder of the store, you can get a, a discount back 
Actually, that's the sign right in front of us here at the moment. That's so. not, that, no, I believe it's not about that. It, if you cut how it also was, but really it says that all like digital techniques, which like TVs, phones, and so on, is like get up to 20% oh, cashback. So here's uh, Toshiba, 559,000 rubles. So, yeah, what does everybody think? Higher here, 58 inch smart tv yeah, this is important now the smart tvs they've got all the extra functions and bells and whistles and bluetooth netflix everything right there even no there. you don't get netflix here unfortunately <laughs> yeah right netflix no more in russia netflix left yeah actually that's interesting just looking at this one right oh we just missed the screen there they've got the uh, youtube yeah, these are the cheaper ones like in here <laughs> So just having a look at some of the washing machines here, there's obviously a big variety of them. So the one thing that they do have a lot more of in Russia is these smaller, kind of shallower style washing machines. In Australia, we're used to the full size machines. But because everyone has these in apartments, typically they'll have them in their bathroom, sometimes in the kitchen. Uh, the smaller, kind of uh, less capacity ones are more popular. I don't even know actually what you're talking about. I've never seen like a washing machine yeah. besides this so one. So you see how there's like a few inches difference in the size yeah. of the washing machine. So there's a slimmer depth. Yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, they tend to have these in apartments, so these are much But in uh, most uh, traditional houses like in America, England, Australia, the, uh, there's no need for the smaller, slimmer ones. But again, there's a higher one here. This one is 41,000 rubles. So, yeah, there's a lot of different varieties of these. So just to compare apples and apples, I think it's a little bit difficult. Here is Biko. This one is 28,000. This is more like what we have in our apartment. This is six kilograms capacity, but uh, fits in our uh, bathroom perfectly well. All right, so they actually do have iPhones here, or they've got Apple phones, and they've actually got a little bit of a disco. One of their lights has a bit of a fault with it, so there's not much we can do filming, but the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 104,000 rubles, 256 gigabytes. Yeah, and it's half the price is to taken away. So. Yeah, so on special as well, I guess because of the 14 coming in. Uh, well, 14 is not coming in, so... <laughs> well, officially not coming in. Oh, yeah. But, but I imagine that price reduction is because of the change to the new model. Uh, they've got here the 11. This one's 53,000 rubles. And then up here, the 13 Pro uh, Sierra Blue, 97,000. Rubles, 13 Pro Max, this one's 128 GB gold, 99,000 rubles. So yeah, they've pretty much got all the models here. So and then there's got uh, the tablets, Huawei, and there's some Samsung uh, models here. These are more the basic models. The A13, I don't tend to know a lot of these or basic models, A13 for 12,000 rubles. And then the wireless headphones. And then coming back over to the Apple here as well, I just thought I'd point out some of the, the iPads here. Uh, Apple iPad 10.2, 64 gig, 34,000 rubles. And then the 64 silver, okay, not too much difference, 35,999. And then I wonder if anyone buys the original cases. I think most people don't tend to buy the original cases, but Why 13 would Pro Max is 4,799. And then just tucked in the back here is the Samsung wireless headphones, the Buds. These are what my wife keeps wanting to get. Uh, these are 11,999 Galaxy Buds Pro Black. These are the ones she keeps bothering me to buy or nagging me to get her. There is a white version here, Buds 2, Series 2. Season, series 2, 7, 
So they do have a lot of other models of phones here. Railme, Vivo. There's a lot of names. I don't really know all of the brands here. Uh, Oppo. There is a couple of Samsungs kind of hidden in here, but these are all of the entry level Samsungs. Look at that, they've even got the, the push button ones here as well. Digma, Terakek. Oh, there's a Nokia. Oh, finally, someone that I know the name <laughs> of. 2999. And then there's quite a few other models on the other side over here. Xiaomi. So these are all Xiaomi. There's a lot of different models of them. Poco. I've never heard of Poco before. And then Wiko. Uh, Honor. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you know any of these other brands. I mean, for me personally, beyond Samsung and Apple, I don't know any of these other brands, but they've of course got all of the uh, SIM card options here Main as well. Main providers, yeah. Yeah, so MTC is the one that I use. MTS. MTS, I call it MTC. <laughs> There's B, Megaphone, Yota, and Tele2. These are all of the main phone providers in Russia. So just walking around, there's obviously a lot of different things to point out the prices. I didn't want to make the video too long, uh, but DeLonghi here, I think people know DeLonghi. This is one of those uh, like sandwich presses or almost like a George Foreman grill. This one's 20,000 rubles. But yeah, there's a full, full store of goods. Now, I am uh, filming this kind of when there's not too many people in the shop. It is a little bit quiet in here, so I'm just trying to avoid getting people in the camera shots as well. But yeah, there is no shortage of electronics and homeware goods, white goods. We can buy everything we need. Now, we just walked on outside here and we're going to slowly end the video. And I'm just wanting to ask Artem what your kind of thoughts are on the pricing. Actually, I thought it would be worse because like most of the things you like get here, you can get like it's like in Moscow, so it's not very true for, for regions, but most of the things you can get here is like for, you can get it for one salary because like I have a salary like 40,000 and I just graduated, so well. So <laughs> yeah. This is all pretty reasonable. Like prices of course gone up like up to 50%, but it's still. 50% increases? So, sometimes for 50%. Since but February, it's gone up Since that much. February, yeah, it can get that much, but it's still pretty reasonable, I will say. And then I guess the, the, the main thing here though, you can get things on like a payment plan. You can think, you can get things on payment plan, yeah, buy, buy them and spend like money for like two years more. Mm -hmm. You can uh, use like uh, sales, you can use like cards, like payment, uh, this. Yeah, so. Loyalty cards and so on. But for so, a regional area, 50 for, kilometers or so from Moscow, I think we're, we're doing pretty good though. Yeah, it's pretty great. Okay, everybody, so we've, Finish the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, if you got to the very end, thank you very much. Thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. I hope you like this walk around of a very typical Russian electronics home goods store here in Moscow region. If you like the video, what are people meant to do? Thumbs up. And what do we want people to do also? Uh, subscribe, I guess. Well, subscribe. If you've not subscribe subscribed, and comment. Comment, of course. All right. So from Atom. And for myself, thanks everybody. Uh, thank you. Yep. See and you. we'll see you in another video. Bye.